Andy in Tribeca. Felt like a bomb. A massive crane collapses across two blocks of street below. It bounced off two buildings and it crushed every single car. CBS2 live team coverage as the investigation continues. Plus, the burning question. I was just thinking, I hope it doesn't fall, and then it happened. Were there warning signs days ago? Deadly crane collapse. Coverage continues right now. And good evening once again, everyone. I'm Maurice Dubois. Dana Tyler is off tonight. Witnesses say it felt like an earthquake when the crane hit the ground today. And now, tonight, it looks like a war zone. Christine Johnson just took a tour of the damage. The crane on the ground, look at it, spanning two blocks. You can see the streets are now covered in concrete and metal. Cars simply flattened. One man caught the fall with his cell phone camera from 20 floors above. There he goes. He's moving fast now. He's dropping it really quick. No. Looks like it's oh. Holy no. It's falling. Oh. It's falling. It's falling. Oh, oh it broke. Holy oh. Could not have happened at a worse time. 8.25 this morning as thousands of people were headed to work. We have live team coverage tonight of the aftermath, and we begin with CBS 2's Lou Young. Lou. Stowing that crane in a gusty wind was a sight that even experienced construction workers found appealing. They wanted to watch it, and they couldn't believe what they were seeing as that thing went down. Take a look. And... The construction workers who watched the crane fall from above were as surprised as anyone. It was not lifting anything at the time and was being brought down as a precaution because of the morning snowstorm. We saw the crane swaying, so we rang out watching it, and they were trying to lower it. First attempt went about eh, maybe 10 o'clock horizontal, and the wind started blowing, so they went back up with it. On the second attempt to lower it, that's when it got out of control. It fell with a thunderous series of crashes that lasted several seconds. Holy the end of the crane whipped down onto the street with shocking power, cutting one car in half, trapping the driver, crushing other vehicles parked on the south side of the block. At 57 Worth, workers found the cable weight from the crane in an office where the thing clipped the building on its way to the street. The cab where the crane operator sat somersaulted at street level from the momentum. It looks like a tank, like turned over up on its side. At New York Law School, a block away, everybody was ordered to leave until Monday. Gas and electric shut off while Con Ed searches for leaks. The building shook. It felt like an earthquake. For people uh, who live or work along Worth Street uh, between uh, Hudson and Church, that this area is going to be cut off, uh, largely cut off or partially cut off for several days. One man, 38-year-old David Wicks, was killed. Two other people were injured seriously enough to be taken to Bellevue, but they're expected to survive. The margin between life and death measured in a few feet and a fleeting decision of which way to run. Two guys ran to the right, one guy ran to the, to the left, and I believe the guy that ran to the left is the one that was killed. Everyone marvels the number of casualties wasn't higher. That could have been me, because I walked I walk under there for a lot. It's a thing all New Yorkers are thinking about today as they look at that uh, crane lying on the road. The sidewalks we walk on, the streets we drive on. You see the damage and you marvel at the things that didn't happen. We're live in Tribeca, Lou Young, CBS 2 News. Gives you pause, Lou. Thanks so much.